as we have discussed or as we have designed in the previous tutorial the small mvc application a spring mvc application printing the simple message hello from spring framework and while designing this application we have designed five components the first we have edited the pom.xml file we have added these four dependencies within the pom.xml file first dependency was web mvc then the servlet api servlet jsp api and the jstl and secondly we have uh, edited the web.xml file uh, in this web.xml file we have configured the dispatcher servlet thirdly we have created the spring servlet.xml file in this xml file we have configured the view resolver and also mark uh, to scan the components which are there in uh, org.grayselman.controller because this package contains our controller and our controllers are marked with the controller annotation so that these controllers can be instantiated in the ioc container by the spring runtime environment and we have also returned one controller uh, and it was having two handler methods and then we have written a JSP file that is the welcome uh, dot JSP and the output we got was in the form of a, a small hello message now in this tutorial we will move one step further and uh, have a review that we have designed these five components pom.xml, web.xml, spring servlet.xml and then we have written the controller and finally the JSP. So these were the five components which we have designed or which you have to design while creating the spring MVC application. Now in this tutorial uh, what we are going to do is we are going to get the user data, the data which is submitted by the user like uh, or the data which is appended with the URL like the data can be appended in this manner or data can be appended in this manner we are going to get uh, this data with the help of one annotation which is provided with the spring mvc that is the path variable annotation now we have designed this project in the previous tutorial and in this project uh, we will first uh, re-engineer this our controller part this is having two handler methods and uh, these are the handlers now i alter this handler so that whenever on the browser i got this uh, string slash home this handler got executed and here i engineer re-engineer this in this manner like home and home now let's run this application when we run this application we will get the same output as I have shown in BPT part. So in this tutorial we will also re-engineer the JSP which we have designed and also uh, the controller part. Now here when I write hello double L O uh, when I write this oh sorry home when I write this home here I will get the desired output okay now if user appends the data here like this like 1 or 12 or the username like Rahul to so how to get this data into our controller and how to process this data within the controller part now I take a small example here like this this is the handler which is having slash home and slash hello again now I want to put here the variable part variable part means if I put here the username like James so I want to get this username within my controller. So what I am going to do here is I put one variable in the curly braces and I put the name of the variable as name or user. Whatever the value will be passed after home slash this value this value will automatically be saved into this variable now if you compare this handler 
with this particular part this handler with this particular part like this like this part then both are the same only the difference is that this is the value of the variable and here we have mentioned that we after the slash we are going to get the value of the variable okay now here in the signature of this method or in the parameter list of the method i will use the annotation that is path variable annotation and within the path variable annotation within the double quotes i will use the name of this variable that is user now the user variable now i will create one variable of type string and the name it has user now i have to import this annotation path variable now what we have done is first within the curly braces we have mentioned that this value will be provided with the url so whatever the value we got we will we are going to get after this slash please put that value within this variable user then this value will be saved into this particular variable which we have mentioned within the method signature so you have to put this annotation within the parameter list of the method or the handler and after this annotation you have to declare the data type ke what type of data you are going to get as you know the data which is provided with the query string is considered to be as of type string but here you can get any type of data the type conversion happens automatically for example if i am expecting some numeric value here and i provide some numeric value like 1 2 3 here and whenever the framework sees that this value is a numeric value since we have pro, uh, we are going to save this value in the long so the type conversion happens automatically but for a time now we are going to use here the string now we put the value that is this value in the model object with the name uh, user data and we place here this variable that is the user variable okay we are done with the controller now we have to alter our jsp file so that in jsp file we can get this data uh, now here i mention here in the h2 tag like uh, welcome and then i will mention the variable here or the data which is provided by the user and the name of the variable is user data i put here user data okay now when we run this program and provide the data like uh, um, rod johnson who have designed the spring framework we get here the welcome rod johnson because this handler has been executed whenever the spring framework finds this url slash home slash rod johnson now the spring framework tries to map the url which is provided here with the controller mappings now here spring framework finds the appropriate handler and with this curly braces uh, the framework comes to know that he has to put this value which has supplied after home into the variable name because we have used this annotation path variable so this value rod johnson has been passed to this variable is passed or saved into this variable home which we have uh, in this variable user now we can use this variable user within our controller so i have added the uh, this variable user in the model uh, with the key value user data 
and in this welcome.jsp I am getting this the value of this variable user data so it's very simple to get the values which are passed or which are appended with the query string in the spring framework so we have studied about the path variable but the data can be passed using the forms also so how to collect the form data in the spring MVC so in the next video we will discuss okay, how to get the form data which is submitted by the user with the help of the annotation request param so in the next video we will get the data by using this annotation request param and there are many more methods to get the user data as we have discussed the annotation path variable in the next video we will discuss about the request param and in that the later video we will discuss how to get the user data in the form of the model object